Hi, my name is Dr. Lowell Wild Jr. I'm a podiatrist with over 20 years of experience helping patients throughout the Chicagoland area live a better life by eliminating pain in their feet and ankles. When many people think of podiatry, especially in the Chicagoland area, many people think of the Wild name. My father, Lowell Weil Sr., has been practicing as a podiatrist for over 50 years. He is a CEO and founder of the Weil Foot and Ankle Institute, where we have over 20 locations throughout the Chicagoland area. Now, I'm super excited to be talking with you about how you can finally discover a life without heel pain in nearly all cases without surgery. I also want to make clear to everyone on this webinar that the term plantar fasciitis is also known as heel pain. They are synonymous. So today, we are going to cover the myths and misconceptions of heel pain. We are also going to cover the causes of heel pain. You may be surprised to know that sometimes heel pain is caused by something not even related to your foot. We are also going to talk about why you need to get rid of your heel pain right now beyond the obvious reasons of getting your life back. I'm also going to share with you how we treat heel pain differently at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute compared to other podiatrists. Throughout this webinar, I am also going to share with you patient stories. I have changed the names of the patients to maintain their privacy, but these are real patient stories who have had their lives completely changed since coming to see us at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute. Stories, just like Judy, who came to see us a couple of years ago. She had been to other doctors and even other podiatrists in the area, but it seemed no one could help her get rid of her heel pain. Judy loved to garden, but she couldn't, as her heel pain was getting worse and worse. In talking with a friend, her friend referred her to us. Her friend explained how we had different technology and have literally pioneered procedures to help people truly eliminate heel pain. As it turns out, this technology that I'm going to talk more about later helped her finally get rid of her heel pain in about four weeks with no surgery. She was back to gardening and enjoying getting back to her life. People like Jim, whose heel pain was causing him to miss work. He worked as a packer for Amazon Fulfillment Center nearby. Obviously, by working in a warehouse, Jim was on his feet all day and getting through the day at work was getting to be more and more of a challenge with his constant heel pain. He would, he would ice his heel after work every day, but it got to a point where he could not take the pain any longer. Thankfully, he found us on a Google search and made his appointment to come in. Within five weeks, he no longer had any heel pain. He experienced some relief after his first treatment with this exact technology, which I will talk more about with you later on this webinar. We have many cutting edge treatment options to help get rid of your heel pain for good. Bottom line, by the end of this webinar, you'll absolutely know how to eliminate your heel pain. And like I said earlier, virtually always without surgery. So at this point, you may be wondering why I'm sharing this information with you via webinar. Well, at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute, we always take a consultative approach to treatment. We love to educate our patients about their options and together decide which treatment options make the most sense. The goal of this webinar is to educate you on your different options and if the information I talk about resonates with you, at the end, I will invite you to take the next step and schedule a consultation, which by the way, is covered by your insurance. Now, if you are like me, chances are you'll have some questions as I talk. Simply type in your questions as you have them, and I will do my best to answer them at the end. I know we have a limited time together today, and I want to make sure I get through all of the information I have prepared for you. I want you to turn off your cell phone, close your email, and shut down Facebook. Give me your focus and pay close attention to this presentation today because the information you are going to learn today can literally change your life. You absolutely don't want to miss anything. 
Clear all your distractions so you can focus on the content of this webinar. I promise you will be grateful you did so. So why is this presentation so important right now? If you are watching this presentation, chances are you currently have heel pain. Ultimately, I want to show you that you don't have to suffer anymore. Sometimes people come in and say their friend or spouse told them the heel pain would just go away on its own. First, heel pain doesn't just go away on its own. Some people think that Tylenol, Aleve, or even a cortisone injection eliminates your heel pain. The reality is these anti-inflammatories simply suppress your inflammation and, decre and decrease the pain. However, the condition still exists. At the end of the day, there is no reason you should be going through life with any pain, especially in your feet. With the right treatment, you can easily get back to living a normal life again. Also, many of the podiatrists and I here at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute have published multiple studies and articles in international trade and research journals trusted by podiatrists and orthopedic surgeons throughout the world about how we are successfully treating heel pain at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute. So for you, who is watching this webinar right now, you are benefiting greatly by having years of our own research, thousands of patients that our Wild Foot and Ankle Institute podiatrists have helped, and the newest and most advanced and the most innovative technology to relieve you of your heel pain. I can tell you, if you were ha to be watching a webinar like this when I first started in podiatry, it would be a whole different story. You see, we have not always had all of this success in helping virtually all of our patients get relief from their heel pain. This is a picture of me graduating from the Scholl College of Podiatric Medicine in 1994. When I was learning how to treat heel pain in podiatric medical school, the technology that we use today at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute was not available. During my fellowship in Europe after residency, I learned about a technology they were using to relieve patients of heel pain. They had been using this treatment for about six years in Europe, but at the time of my fellowship, this technology wasn't available in the United States. It wasn't until the year 2000 that the FDA approved this technology. Immediately after the FDA approval, we brought this technology into our practice at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute. In fact, we were the first podiatric office in the entire United States to use this technology to treat heel pain. The technology I am talking about is called shockwave therapy. Now you may have heard of shockwave therapy, but not all shockwave therapy is the same. Shockwave therapy has evolved over the years. The type of shockwave therapy that we use today causes minimal pain and speeds up treatment time with less office visits. I will talk more about this specific technology later on. But right now, I want you to take a moment and imagine what your life would be without any heel pain. For many of you, that would mean being able to enjoy running again, or being more active with your kids or grandchildren, or being able to get through the workday without having excruciating pain in your feet, or even being able to simply go shopping without pain. What would it feel like to have no more pain in your feet? Absolutely amazing, right? Obviously, that is one of the reasons why I am a podiatrist today. I love seeing our podiatrists at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute being able to help people who are living in pain and easily help them get back their life. Most podiatrists don't have the myriad of treatment options or the most advanced technologies available that we have available at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute. Now, how will your life be if you don't learn about this important information and see the right foot doctor who can properly diagnose you and help you finally get rid of your heel pain. If left untreated, many of you could ultimately miss work, have a difficult time getting out of bed in the morning, and simply lose out on enjoying life. Additionally, the longer your heel pain goes untreated, the greater chance you have of needing surgery. In fact, recently, the Mayo Clinic published a study about a tendon problem in the elbow, which is very similar to plantar fasciitis in the foot. The study stated that if you don't get your condition treated within six months from the onset, treatment becomes much more difficult. Look, no one should be suffering with heel pain. 
The good news is there is obviously a better way to treat heel pain compared to how most podiatrists and foot doctors treat it. I am extremely happy to say that over 95% of the people who come to see us at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute for heel pain get rid of their heel pain. Before we get into the details of how we treat heel pain, let me give you a little bit about my background and how I became a podiatrist. From a very young age, I've always wanted to be a podiatrist. Since 1965, my father has been a podiatrist. When I was a little kid, my father used to take me to the hospital to do patient rounds. I remember him pushing me through the halls of the hospital in a wheelchair and being so gratified about the whole experience. Like most kids, I always thought it was a great day when I visited with my dad at work. During summers in high school, I would help him with the filing at his office. I always assumed I would follow in my father's footsteps. My father had been the podiatrist for the Chicago Bears for years. I eagerly tagged along to practice whenever possible. The summer before my junior year of high school, the assistant trainer for the Bears, Brian McCaskey, asked me if I'd be interested in being a part-time training staff during the season. For the next two seasons, I helped in the training room and locker room before and after every Bears home game and even some of the away games. During games in the 1984 and 1985 seasons, I was the water boy. As the water boy, during timeouts and during the two-minute warning, I ran onto the field and was in the middle of the huddle in front of a stadium full of screaming fans. The 1985 season ended with a Super Bowl victory for the Bears. The thing that resonated most with me was the importance that the team and the players placed on all the doctors, including my father. The players talked to him with great reverence, and after games, they would thank him for helping them. Hall of Famer Walter Payton was particularly fond of my father. You can imagine how impactful this all could be on a 16 or 17 year old teenager. This was certainly a defining experience and further helped me want to become a podiatrist. I went on to graduate from Vanderbilt University and attend the Scholl College of Podiatric Medicine in Chicago where I met my eventual wife, Wendy, who is also a part of our practice. I then attended residency at the Graduate Hospital in Philadelphia that was part of the University of Pennsylvania network. Following residency, my wife and I traveled through Europe visiting and training with 25 of the most well-known foot and ankle surgeons of their time. Meeting some of the world's best foot and ankle surgeons was an incredible experience that has shaped a lot of what I have done in practice. This is also where I discovered the shockwave therapy that has since evolved even further and we use to help our patients get rid of their heel pain. As a physician, I have always lived by my father's teachings that you are never good enough. You always have to study, learn, and find better ways to improve the lives of the people who trust you with their care. I have lived by this philosophy throughout my career. As a result, I have become very involved with research and have published over 50 articles and book chapters. I have served as the editor of Foot and Ankle Specialist, the only combined orthopedic and podiatric peer-reviewed journal in the world. I have lectured in 11 countries on five continents and in 29 different states. I have pioneered new procedures and implants to improve the care of patients, most notably the complete planter plate repair system. I have been the fellowship director at our institution, which is the longest running fellowship in our profession and has graduated more than 20 fellows. At the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute, our mission is to provide outstanding foot and ankle care in Chicagoland and throughout the entire country. I have personally trained many of our podiatrists at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute on the unique ways we treat heel pain. So now that you know a little bit about my background, let's talk about some of the misconceptions and myths about heel pain. There are many misconceptions of heel pain, but I am going to share with you the top seven most common misconceptions we hear. The first one we commonly hear is that you must have to be an athlete to get the most advanced care. Now at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute, we have traded, treated players from the Chicago White Sox, Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bears, Olympic athletes, and many everyday athletes. But the re reality is, Everyone should receive the same treatment options that world-class athletes have. 
Another misconception we hear is that age is a factor in eliminating, eliminating your heel pain. At the Wildfoot and Ankle Institute, we treat young people to seniors to everyone in between. Another misconception we hear is that cortisone shots cure heel pain. While cortisone shots can be helpful to reduce pain and swelling while we are doing other things to treat your heel pain, the cortisone itself does not cure heel pain. Cortisone can help provide immediate relief and for many, getting a shot of cortisone is a painful experience. But at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute, we use ultrasound to help us pinpoint the best location to administer the injection. This helps the cortisone work better as well as minimize the pain of the shot. Another misconception is that heel spurs cause heel pain. Heel spurs are the result of the injury to the plantar fascia, which is simply a ligament on the bottom of your foot. So the heel spurs are not actually causing the pain. Typically, when heel spurs are visible on an x-ray, it is a sign that you have had your condition potentially longer than you have known, and with heel spurs, we may decide to treat you more aggressively. Another myth we hear is that an over-the-counter arch support will help you just as much as a custom orthotic. One of our podiatrists at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute published a study that showed that people who used custom orthotics got rid of their heel pain faster and more consistently compared to those who used an over-the-counter device. Another myth we hear is that your weight may be the only cause of your heel pain. While weight can be a factor, it typically is not the only reason for your heel pain. The seventh misconception I want to share with you is that flat feet cause heel pain. The truth is, having flat feet is not a cause of heel pain. Many people with all foot types can experience heel pain. Now there are many other misconceptions, but these are the seven very common ones that we hear. Some of the causes of heel pain are prolonged standing, people wearing non-supportive shoe gear, excessive or sudden increase in activities such as an increase in walking or exercise, obesity or weight gain, having tight calf muscles, or heel pain can just develop over time. In some cases, there could be a nerve problem. This is where a proper diagnosis is critical to eliminating the heel pain. At many of our Wild Foot and Ankle Institute locations, we have an MRI machine on site. This allows us to make the diagnosis much faster and with less office visits. Moreover, our MRI machine is not one that you have to go into a long tube. It is an MRI machine designed for the lower extremity. In other cases, we have found heel pain is caused by something not even related to the foot. For example, we have found a back issue causing heel pain. Now, most podiatrists just concentrate on the foot. However, the pod podiatrists at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute look at all potential causes of heel pain. Knowing what causes your heel pain allows us to recommend the best treatment to eliminate your heel pain. That is why choosing the right podiatrist is critical to helping you get rid of your pain. I'm happy to say that at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute, we have over a 95% success rate in helping people no longer have heel pain. You may be wondering if you can wait to get your heel pain treated. Let me tell you, you should definitely not wait to get your heel pain treated. Some people delay coming in to see one of the podiatrists here at Wild Foot and Ankle Institute because they are afraid of needing surgery. The reality is most of our patients are treated for their heel pain and get rid of their pain without surgery. I will say the longer you let your heel pain go untreated, the more difficult it will be to eliminate your heel pain. Your recovery time will most likely increase and there is an increased likelihood of surgery. So bottom line, the moment you experience heel pain, I recommend you come in for your initial consultation at one of our convenient Wild Foot and Ankle Institute locations. So let's talk about how we treat your heel pain. During your first visit, we will go over what you may have done previously and go over your history. If you haven't seen a doctor yet about your heel pain, we can help you too. Also, during your first visit, we will perform an examination to determine the cause of your heel pain. We will take digital x-rays to rule out other problems such as a fracture, stress fracture, tumor, 
and to make a confirmatory diagnosis of plantar fasciitis. We have state-of-the-art digital x-ray machines in all of our offices, which allow us to make the proper diagnosis during your first visit. If it is determined you require an MRI, many of our locations have a lower extremity MRI machine on site. Once the diagnosis is made, we can implement the appropriate treatment protocol which is individualized directly for you and your lifestyle. When I say individualized, there are many different treatment options we have. Sometimes just getting you into the right shoe gear and support will help eliminate your pain. Sometimes we'll use physical therapy to help loosen up your calf muscles, which can eliminate your heel pain. Sometimes we'll use custom orthotics to eliminate the heel pain. Sometimes we will prescribe oral or topical medications to help reduce the inflammation while we're using some of many of these methods. At the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute, we have so many treatment options available. Every situation is different, and this is why we individualize your treatment. At the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute, we are one of the only podiatric offices that have the most advanced technology available, such as the EPAT shockwave therapy. Remember, I shared with you earlier that our office was the first place in the entire United States to offer shockwave therapy back in 2000 when the FDA approved this therapy to eliminate heel pain. Well, since then, shockwave therapy has evolved and our offices always brings you the latest and most cutting edge technology. This new technology is called EPAT. EPAT is a non-invasive treatment which stimulates healing by conducting pressure waves into your foot that breaks up scar tissue and stimulates a healing response. Because EPAT is non-invasive, there is no risk or risk of infection. In general, your body naturally produces growth factors for healing the EPAT stimulates these growth factors to the area that we are treating, causing a stimulation and speeding up of the healing of the chronic non-healing tissue. In short, EPAT speeds up the elimination of your heel pain. Treatments are typically weekly for three to five sessions. There is some discomfort during treatment. However, each treatment is under 10 minutes in duration. Many patients report feeling better after just their first visit. There is no scarring or downtime from treatment. Healing is faster and easier than tr traditional treatments for heel pain. We are experiencing more than 90% of people having a positive response from this treatment. Now in the rare instances that EPAT doesn't help, we have other options available as well. In fact, we have pioneered a minimally invasive surgery which will relieve your heel pain. Many people ask, will the use of shockwave therapy to treat your heel pain last? That is obviously a great question. So we performed a follow-up study with the first 200 patients we treated with shockwave. The average time since treatment for these patients was nine years. 88% of the people reported that they had not had any recurrence of their heel pain. This study was on the older technology of shockwave therapy. We anticipate the EPAT technology therapy will have even less recurrence over time. At this point, you are probably wondering, is treatment expensive? Well, many of our treatments for heel pain are covered by insurance. Many of our patients choose to invest in the EPAT technology which considerably speeds up recovery from heel pain. You can invest in the EPAT technology therapy for as little as $600 for up to five treatments. Additionally, we have 0% financing options, so if you need to extend payments, you easily can. We accept credit cards as well. But keep in mind again, many of our treatment options are covered by insurance, so there is another reason why you should come in to one of our convenient Wild Foot and Ankle Institute locations so we can discuss your treatment options and which treatments are covered by insurance and which aren't. Together, we will determine a treatment plan that makes the most sense for your unique situation. Now, even though we are seeing over 90% success rate in eliminating heel pain by using the EPAT shockwave therapy, many of you are probably still wondering, Dr. Weil, I love what you're talking about, 
but will this technology and even other options work for you specifically? And you know that is a very valid question. Some doctors may say to you, shockwave therapy or EPAT shockwave therapy doesn't work. Beyond our personal experience and our other doctors' positive experiences at the Wildfoot and Ankle Institute that have used this technology for thousands of patients, there are 10 times the number of studies and articles published that prove that shockwave or EPAT technology does in fact eliminate heel pain versus just traditional treatment or even surgery. So the point here is that research and studies also back the fact EPAT shockwave therapy does work in eliminating heel pain in most cases. At this point, I don't want you to just take my word for it. I want you to hear some patient stories. Again, I have changed their names to protect their privacy. The first story I want to share with you is about a police officer. His name is Larry. Larry was not only a police officer, but he was also in charge of training other police officers. He was experiencing severe heel pain that was limiting him from training the other police officers. When the heel pain became so severe that it impacted his work life, he decided to come to the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute for relief from his heel pain. Larry wanted to get back to the training the police officers as soon as possible, and he wanted to avoid surgery. So together, we decided that the EPAT shockwave therapy would make the most sense. After five treatments of less than 10 minutes each of the EPAT shockwave therapy, Larry's heel pain was gone, and most importantly, he was able to get back to successfully training the other police officers. The next patient's name was Jackie. Jackie had a daughter who worked part-time and a son-in-law that worked full-time. Jackie helped take care of her daughter's two young children three days a week. One summer, her heel pain really got in the way of being able to keep up with the children. One of their favorite activities was going to the park together. Because it was summer, Jackie commonly wore sandals, which can cause heel pain. Another favorite activity they loved was playing at the pool. While at the pool, Jackie was walking around barefoot, which can be another cause of heel pain. She kept her pain a secret from her daughter and just lived with the pain until coming in and seeing us. She wasn't interested in changing her shoe gear and wearing orthotics or arch supports. So to provide her immediate relief, she got a cortisone shot and started participating in physical therapy. This obviously helped her, but it didn't get rid of her all of her heel pain. So we talked to her more about EPAT and she chose that treatment option. After only three treatments, she reported back with no more heel pain and has no problems keeping up with her grandchildren. The next story I want to share with you is Michael. Michael had finished Army training. He then moved on to Ranger School to become a United States Army Ranger. Ranger School required more running and all of a sudden his heels started hurting. He came in to see us and in his case, we made a custom orthotic and got him more supportive shoe gear that was customized for him and his heel pain quickly went away. He was able to complete ranger school. Today he is an official United States Army Ranger. In this next story, Jennifer had just had her third child that started suffering with terrible heel pain. She was constantly running around after her children and obviously had increased responsibilities with a newborn. She started to resume exercise to lose her baby weight so she could get back to the physical fitness level she was at prior to being pregnant. She developed heel pain, which got in the way of simple daily activities like playing with her kids and taking care of the baby. Because she was still nursing, she didn't want to take any medication and didn't want any cortisone injections. So she opted for the safe EPAT treatment. After her second treatment, she started to feel substantially better as her heel pain was decreasing. By her fifth treatment, her heel pain was gone completely. And not only was she able to keep up with the kids and care for her baby, but she was able to return to her full exercise routine and lose her baby weight. I have countless other stories I can share with you. But in the inter interest of time, this last story I want to share today is of Kristen. 
Kristen was walking with a group of friends, four other girls for the Avon Cancer Walk. They were walking for a friend who was a cancer survivor. The Avon Cancer Walk is a three-day walk where the participants walk over 39 miles. You obviously need to train and build up to 39 miles. So about three months before the actual walk, Kristen developed heel pain that prevented her from continuing her training. She came in to see us and we provided her orthotics, a night splint. She had some physical therapy and elected to start EPAT treatment because she wanted to get relief fast so she could still participate in the official walk. After just three treatments, she was able to continue her training during treatments. She successfully completed the walk with her friends that June and since has not had any further heel pain. Now you may have noticed that many of the stories I shared with you, the patients elected to use EPAT treatment. We do have many other options for treatment, but since the EPAT treatment speeds up tr the treatment to in some cases as little as three weeks, plus it only requires less than 10 minutes of treatment weekly, and most importantly, it has such a high success rate of eliminating heel pain, many people find EPAT to be best solution for them. We can help you determine if treatment options, including the EPAT technology or not, is right for you. So at this point, you may be wondering who can help you eliminate your heel pain. All of our podiatrists have been trained by myself and my father. So you can confidently come to any of our Wild Foot and Ankle Institute locations and get relief. We accept most all insurances. Your initial consultation is covered by your insurance and many of your, our treatments are covered by insurance. So simply call us at 847-257-1219 to schedule your initial consultation. At this point, we have time for a couple of questions. Let me see what questions we have here. All right, it looks like we have a bunch of questions. This is a great question. This person wants to know, will surgery make them better the fastest? Now, some people have no issue with surgery, especially with our minimally invasive techniques. But the answer is, it really depends on your unique situation. So we need to properly diagnose your heel pain before I can accurately answer this. So I recommend making an appointment with one of the podiatrists at one of our locations. During your first visit, we can have that conversation after a proper diagnosis. Let's see, here, here's an, uh, the next question. My heel pain has prevented me from wearing high heels. Will I be able to wear high heels again? That's a very common question. While many podiatrists say no to high heels all the time, we take a more realistic approach. An overwhelming majority of our female patients are able to wear high heels again with no issues. All right, I think we have time for one more question. If your question didn't get answered or if you still have a question, please put your question in the chat box and one of my team members will follow up with you promptly. So this last question is, I have been to multiple podiatrists and I still have heel pain. Number one, should I still come in and see you? And number two, why will you be different? Well, first, based on your question, I empathize with the frustration and pain you must be in. To answer your first question, yes, you should definitely come in. Most doctors think in terms of all heel pain is plantar fasciitis your heel pain may be caused by something else entirely. So when you come in, our podiatrist can determine the true root cause of your pain. In terms of why we are different, there are many reasons, but let me share a couple with you. First, myself, my father, and many of our podiatrists at the Wild Foot and Ankle Institute have published numerous studies and articles about heel pain. We are the first to utilize the shockwave therapy in the entire United States. We have been treating heel pain for years and even pioneered our own surgeries and treatments for heel pain. So in short, we are the trusted go-to podiatrist when it comes to heel pain. Additionally, we have tools and technology available to us and available to you right in our offices that most podiatrists do not have. This allows us to diagnose the cause of your heel pain and provide individualized treatment much more efficiently and effectively than most foot doctors. 
So with that, I invite you and everyone on this webinar to schedule your initial consultation with one of our podiatrists by calling 847-257-1219. No one should be suffering for a second of heel pain. We realize how the heel pain affects your life in so many ways. Life is busy, so get better faster and come in and see us. You owe it to yourself, your family and friends to have healthy feet. You deserve to eliminate the heel pain once and for all. Thanks for your time today, and I hope this webinar has taught you a little bit more about the Wildfoot and Ankle Institute and your heel pain. On behalf of my entire team of doctors and our entire staff at the Wildfoot and Ankle Institute, we look forward to treating you. Thanks so much.